When HIV diagnosis was once considered a death sentence, Alex Minky looks at the progress that's been made and the challenges some still face. Picture it, June 1990. A doctor told Bruce Broughton to get his affairs in order. His HIV diagnosis would kill him in three to five years. Well, it was kind of frightening for me because I'm just like, I'm a young sailor. I'm getting my affairs in order. What does that mean? Where, what's going to happen? How, you know, you just, you're thinking about dying. Now it's 2020 and Broughton takes daily medications but is considered undetectable meaning he can't transmit HIV to a sexual partner. He says not only are scientists and social agencies to thank for the advancement in this disease. Drag queens, the way agencies were given money were through performances and shows, and there was so much fundraising going on in that time. Uh, I, owe myself, I owe my life to them because they uplifted me every, every fundraiser, and they were there for me. In Illinois, the state is on track to have zero new diagnosis of HIV by 2030. We're at a point where if we can get everyone into care, if we can get everyone at least tested at least once, anybody that's ever been sexually active, at least tested once. And if we can get anybody that's at risk on a medication called PrEP, which is a daily pill that prevents HIV, um, we can get to zero new diagnosis. Unfortunately, one side effect of HIV that current research can't remove is the way society views it, often called stigma. I mean, by stigma, I mean the falseness of thinking that this is a gay man's disease only, that this is a, you have to do something bad to get it. His group, Central Illinois Friends, continues to offer free HIV and STI testing. Reporting in Peoria, I'm Alex Minky.